Jeff Penner is about to do an experiment. When it gets below zero, we try to do this each year. I haven't done it yet. Jeff, I suppose you've been practicing. Uh, tell us exactly what we're going to do here. What we're going to do is I have a cup here of hot water almost boiling. So if you do this at home, parents just use caution. You can burn yourself if you don't do it right. I actually did that a couple years ago. So what's going to happen is we're going to move the uh, throw the water into the air that's below zero and see what happens. And after what happens, what I think is going to happen, I will explain what happened. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready, Chris? Here we go. And yeah, pretty amazing, huh? The hot water immediately evaporates once it hits the colder air. And because colder air does not hold much water, what happens is the warm water vapor that is in the air immediately condenses out. So we are seeing a situation where we have liquid water immediately going to the uh, vapor state and then condensing out back into little droplets. So pretty impressive. It all happens instantaneously. It has to be hot or boiling water, and it has to be around zero or below. And we satisfy both those criteria, Gary. Thank you very much, Jeff. That was a good job. We'll do it again on the 6 o'clock news, and it'll be really cool. We'll have to get the full version where you throw it way out there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Meteorologist Jeff Penner, uh, scientist meteorologist Jeff Penner. Minus one degrees, and uh, Kevin, it's cold out there. Indeed, indeed. I was thinking kids everywhere now rethinking their science project, Gary.